Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for being here with us today. We would like to start off this evening with an um, opening prayer from Gregory Campbell. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to celebrate the life of our departed loved one. Lord, today is a tough day for us accepting the fact that in the next few minutes we are going to be saying farewell to our brother, our friend, Steve Hart. It is difficult. But we choose to worship you and celebrate the life of Brother Steve, whom you have called back into your presence. Fill this funeral service with your presence, Lord. Let your light shine into our hearts that we may be able to give our last respect lovingly. Let your grace be upon each individual that is present here. Lord Jesus, we commit this service into your hands. 
take control of everything that will be will happen in this place. We pray this believing in Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.
you for that, Lucia. And now we have the scripture reading. Sunday to everyone. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Scripture reading comes from Psalm 97, and it reads, The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of eyes be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goes before him and burn up his enemies round about. His lighting enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hill melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confound be, O they, that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols worship him, all equals. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of the judgment of O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth, thou art exalted far above all gods. He that loved the Lord hate evil, he preserved the souls of his saints, he delivered them out of the hand of the wicked, light is sworn for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye rejoice, righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Amen. Everyone can take their seats.
wonder in my soul. Jesus is a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul and I'll bless his name. He's a wonder in my soul. Jesus is a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul and I'll bless his name. Steve, you will always be special in my heart. May your soul rest in peace. Love you, Steve. Good day again, everybody. Uh, I give God praise, not just the praise, all the praise, honor, and glory for the life of Brother Steve Hart. And I want to express and just give condolences to the Hart family, the Mother's family, the David family. And each and every person was directly connected to Brother Steve. Many of them from the ministry could not be here today because of other obligations and just because of the COVID restrictions. As I heard mentioned earlier on, 2020 has been a rough year. And with this passing also, it has been a year with a lot of um, shocks, as we see. Something that just happened, unforeseen circumstances, circumstances, something that just popped out at the blue and just it presents itself as an obstacle and now we have to deal with it. And I can say this situation is one just like a situation that was mentioned in the Bible. I wouldn't take long, but I have to say something today. Amen? Just give me a, a few minutes. And I will be sharing from the book of John, and it will be John chapter 11 from verses 19, they are on to 38. So you all can take a read when you get a chance. I will not go into that. But I want to share on an unforeseen circumstance that just happened out of the blue. And in this short passage of scripture we see a sister by the name of Mary in a state of mourn as she mourns after the, un, the unexpected death of her brother Lazarus and we see when at that time Christ came on the scene she was explaining what had happened and she said he just got ill and passed away it was something that they were not prepared for. But then she said to him, I know with confidence, she's speaking to Christ now, that I am going to see my brother again. Christ responds, yes, you will see your brother again. And she said, as the conversation continued, yes, I know without a shadow of a doubt, I am going to see my brother in the resurrection and in that point and in that instance while I read this passage of scripture something jumped out at me what jumped out is that Mary decided at that point in time that as we truly say come hell or high water I am going to secure my future that I will see my brother again and many of us are faced with these, at this time, right now, we are faced with this choice. We can choose, as our life continues to progress, we do not know what tomorrow holds, we do not know what the end of the year brings, neither what 2021 has in store for Trinidad and Tobago and us as a people. But we have a choice today and right now. And that choice is like Mary in uh, the book of John. We have a choice 
if we will choose to secure our future, that one day we will see Brother Steve once again in the resurrection. I can make a boast today. I had not a, 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 a large extended relationship with the brother, but I had a short time relationship with him that he touched my life. He was, I can say openly, he was a humble, quiet, um, reserved, as you rightfully pointed out, individual. But he was pressing forth to securing his time or his eternity. He always says he will live his life now to please God. And I can say, say up front that the brother worked extremely hard on doing that. And today I can stand here and make a boast that I know for a fact that my brother is with the Lord in eternity. But now I pose to you the same question because we are all faced with a choice. Would you take this point as a junction of turning my life around? That I know I will secure my future that tomorrow Paraventure, I am not here in the land of the living. That I know with expectancy, as Mary spoke to Christ with expectancy, that I would see my brother again. That you would see your uncle, your relative, your friend again in the resurrection. Christ answered Mary and said this, and this word is one thing that remained with me and I will leave it with you. He said, I am the resurrection. I am the truth and I am the life. And if any man believeth on me, he also shall partake of this same resurrection power. Today is a day where we find our, our hearts overwhelmed with emotion. And it's sad because we look at our close friend here lying and we, wouldn't, we know that today is where we say farewell. But it doesn't mean farewell forever. Because in Christ there is an assurance that one day you shall see Brother Steve once again. And this is what I will leave with you all today. As a thought. I leave this as it stays on your heart, on your mind. That if I choose to secure my future, and we all know how we can secure our future, our eternity, you are guaranteed that one day in joy, in the resurrection, you will see Brother Steve again. Amen? Amen. And I would like to encourage the family, though it may be far and wide, Please, do take this opportunity. Don't take it as, as just hearsay. But take it as a serious point in the turning around of the lives and the, the togetherness of this entire family. I bless you all today. I thank God for the opportunity to stand here before you. We face many obstacles and I'm sure many of you all had obstacles that you had to overcome just to be here. But I thank God that you made the effort to be here. Amen? Amen? So before I leave here, I just would like to invite each and every member of his family to please stand with me. As I just lift up a note of praise, as I ask God right now to blanket you all, as I pray, we are all family. We were all connected to Steve in a, in a very intimate and serious way. We all grew bonds. And I thank God that I had the opportunity to, to meet this brother. And I thank you. Amen. As you all are standing, as I said, I would not take too long, but I ask that you bow your hearts in prayer. Let us reverence. The most high God as he's here with us. Heavenly Father, Lord God, as we all stand in your presence today, 
I thank you, Lord, for the effort and the opportunity just to be here for each and every member of the Hart family, of the Modest family, of the David family, of the Campbell family, and each and every extended family that is directly connected to Brother Steve Hart, Lord. Father God, as I lift each and every individual here today, you know the, the emotional trauma that we are dealing with right now inside. But I pray that your blanket of love and comfort will blanket each and every one of us here today. I pray that you will be the blanket and the shield of protection for us to strengthen us, Lord God, as we go forth and as we continue to go along this journey called life. I pray right now, Lord God, that each and every member, Lord God, of this family will take this time to choose you, Lord with the assuring power that the, your resurrection is what they shall receive at the end of time, Lord God. And they shall see their brother, their uncle, their loved one, Lord God, once again in the resurrection. I pray right now, Lord God, that each and every relationship that may have been broken in the past, Lord Jesus, that your blood will bind them together through this situation and this circumstance Lord God that unity will once again reign in this family Lord God that they will come together once again to press forth and to go forth in this life leaving a mark that Steve would be proud to say this is my relative and I am proud of them I pray Lord that you have your perfect way and will in the lives of each and every one of us standing here today as your power is poured out, I pray that you comfort each and every heart. That they will be able to move past this. In no other name but in Jesus' matchless name I pray. Amen and amen. Be blessed. You may have your seat. I'd like to invite anyone who would like to come up and share any words they would like from Uncle Steve. I'm going to miss him on that. I hope someday that we'll be back. I will see him sometime in the future. Thank you.
like to ask any of the church members to lead us in the hymns.
Hi, afternoon. The service has been finished until we reach the cemetery. So I'd like to ask on the back crew, three at a time come on view and they can step out, please. So when that crew finish, this one and then I'll let people come outside coming in. Ready? Afternoon. <laughs> the service has been concluded until we reach the cemetery. So the viewing has going to be started now. So Take from the back of the chair at that time, come and view and walk out please.
Да.
Time in the future, we don't know how soon, but we know that we will see him again and we will rejoice. He is, he is going to receive his reward, and we thank God that we know that reward is a, a great reward. And we, you know, we say we pray that each and every one of us will have such an opportunity to meet with God and to live forever with Him because life on the earth is temporary. It is not going to be forever. So whatever we do, whatever we say, wherever we go, our life must be a life of worship unto God. God has called us, He has placed worship in us. Whatever we say, it must lift His name. The songs that we sing, the conversation that we have, um, must be uplifting. And so, you know, we, 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 the scripture says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, Holy Land. So the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. And so, wherever we are, because God lives in us, we can make that joyful song. That song could be coming from our lips or even from our heart. And so we thank God as we say bye, goodbye to our brother, brother Steve, our uncle, for some of us, our cousin, our brother-in-law, our good friend. We want to sing um, Blessed Assurance again, as we sang in the, in the chapel. Blessed Assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fullness of glory divine. Air of salvation, precious and God, born of the Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. Perfect delight, visions of frontier, was born on the sun. Angels descending, rain from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. All is of rest. I am my Savior. I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting. Looking above. Here with His goodness. Lost in His love. 
This is my story. This is my song. Praise in my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praise in my Savior. All the day long. There is a scripture that says, It is better to be in the house of mourning. Thank you, Lord. Right in the house of teaching. And we who are gathered here today, it is better to be here reflecting on our lives because one day we will have that last breath taken. And no more after that, as our brother Steve has taken his last breath a couple of days ago. So let us reflect on this moment that each and every one of us will come, will have to go this way. And let us continue to live a life, oh hallelujah, that will be pleasing to God, that one day we will hear, welcome, welcome, welcome my child. And I pray God that, you know, each and every one of us will make that effort. Look at our lives, you know, um, do not take life for granted do not waste you know the times that we have but let us continue to live in love you know the scripture says a new commandment i give unto you that you love one another as i have loved you by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another so we have to continue to live in love it's sometimes it's not easy but yet God is saying in all of us, He is in all of us. And if He's in all of us, oh hallelujah, and God is love, then He's not asking us something that is impossible. To love, to forgive, to care about one another. And I know that Brother Steve will be happy knowing that even in his passing, oh hallelujah, there is some change in our lives. There is some change in our lives that we will live you know to please god and that as we live to please god we will please mankind as well people who see us will say well look and here goes somebody who has who is different somebody who is making an effort to be a lover a lover of god so we thank god and we will sing the other song what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we have in thee. Oh, what needless things we get. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble everywhere? We should never be the star, take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. We give God thanks and we give God praise for this day. And I pray God as we say goodbye to our brother, our friend, our uncle, our cousin. And as he goes and as we receive his reward, we also will have that opportunity to receive our reward. We say thank you, Lord. 
You gotta go up for the mother. I know. Hey. Hey. And hey, we line up the cast, let's push it up. Yeah, you go on, let me show you. Right, 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 you gotta walk in it. Good. What do you have for the bank fire? Get a power for the wood. Get a power for the wood. So, so that's what I'm going to have. You have him there? You have him there, right? Red man, you have to go there. Watch. Red man, you have to go behind the coach. No, you have to go on that side. Red, you have somebody out here. We <laughs> Ah, he, he, he can't hold quiet. You gotta come up on the money. Come closer, come closer. You have to come up on the bank. Don't pray anymore, don't pray anymore. Wait. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, get Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Put up the foot, put up the foot, put up the foot. Walk up, walk up, stay up. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Put up the foot, put up the foot. 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 Put up the foot, Alright.
Right on that side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>